My name is Christelle Ergualsch. I'm a scientist at C4 uh, looking at how land use change and degradation is affecting the, the emissions of greenhouse gases. Peru is the second country in the tropics in terms of peatland area and the current estimated surface is 50,000 km square. But this estimate is, a, is the best assessment which would need rigorous ground truthing. Uh, besides, this estimate considers only lowland peatlands of the Amazon basin, while we know peat formation also occurs in the highlands. The peat is formed by the organic matter decomposing, coming from the palms, the, the other trees, and also from the roots. And given the, the water load conditions, this organic matter decomposes very, very slowly and it accumulates and this is how peat forms over time. It has also been demonstrated that Peruvian peatlands store uh, considerable amounts of carbon. So in Indonesia, we've been working also on the carbon stock changes and uh, trace gas emissions uh, in um, undisturbed and uh, converted lands. There, uh, there's a lot of degradation, um, a lot of uh, shrublands on peat, uh, but also plantations, such as old palm plantations and acacia plantations, which require drainage, deep drainage for the cultivation. So there um, we have a complete shift in the balance of the greenhouse gases and we have very strong uh, emissions of CO2. Here in Peru, the major threat identified is the, the over-harvesting of, of this palm. The, the female palms are slashed for collecting their fruits and left to decompose on, on the ground. As a consequence, the canopy cover of the forest decreases. The inputs of organic matter which builds the peat over uh, time decrease and you also have a change in the microclimate in the ecosystem. If the canopy is more open, you have more sun getting inside. So you have a change in the, in the air temperature, in the soil temperature, in the soil moisture. You have more evaporation. And so you reduce the, the flooding conditions of the, the ecosystem. So you accelerate the decomposition of the, of the organic matter. Then we can expect reduced carbon stocks in the vegetation, but also in the pit. And the soil emissions of carbon dioxide may increase while uh, the, the fluxes of methane and nitrous oxide may also be altered. We need to know what, what is the exchange of greenhouse gases between the system and the atmosphere in undisturbed conditions, but also after disturbance. So in undisturbed conditions, you have an exchange of CO2 because the system uh, is respiring, but it's also uh, photosynthesizing. But when you disturb, the system you will have more uh, CO2 coming from the soil because the, the peat or the, the carbon which is there is going to be transformed into CO2 and be emitted. We need to improve the accuracy of uh, the inventory of tropical peatlands in order to determine the magnitude of the carbon pool, to estimate the scale of the transfer of peat-derived greenhouse gases emissions to the atmosphere resulting from degradation and land use change uh, to support greenhouse gas emission reduction policies. So the blue is water. The the blue. We don't know what, uh, what will be uh, uh, the future if, if there is a willing to really to conserve these ecosystems or if potentially they could end up being drained as well as in Indonesia. Mm.